what the f is what Davis McLean says in one of the teasers that was released in the past week in the build up to episode 6. And that's what I'm hoping all of our reactions are with the opening episode of part 2. It's been a long time since we've seen Ghost, and with only 5 episodes left, they've got a lot to get through, a lot of loose ends to tie up, and a lot of character arcs to finish. But as we go specifically into episode 6, we should expect Detective Carter to really apply the pressure on the Tahadas, with each of them facing their own battles. Zion's also going to be on the attack, looking to retaliate from the humiliation he suffered in 405, and in my opinion, that will lead to his eventual downfall. Could it also be the beginning of Effie's downfall and also Diana's baby? So, as usual, we are going to be running through all the clues, images, and teasers that I think matches up to Go Season 4, Episode 6. But, first things first, let's take a look at the title and synopsis. Who did you steal the drugs from? I don't know where the shit came from. Let's try that again. Wait, 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 wait. Time's racking up enemies. I need you to work your magic with the Russians. We're okay. Tariq has a proposal. The title of episode 6 is Devil's Playground, and the synopsis reads, With eyes back on their business, Tariq and Brayden must find a way to get back in Nomar's good graces. Diana is faced with a dilemma, stepping further into the game than she's ever gone before, or risk her family's safety. Now, in terms of the meaning of Devil's Playground, a lot of these characters are going to find themselves in danger, especially from law enforcement. It doesn't matter if they're in the comfort of their own homes, Stansfield, or in a random bar doing a deal. Violence and danger will always be lurking around the corner. Each and every single player is technically in the Devil's Playground, especially as we head into the home stretch for Season 4. So, with that being said, let's take a quick look at what we can expect from law enforcement bursting into the Tahadas. I didn't think you even knew how to use a phone, Red. Every time I call, you don't answer. I gotta round up my team and pay you a personal fucking visit. Put the phone down. Now. Everybody sit down. Sit the fuck down. Now. So, this was a little exclusive that was released on social media. We've got Carter and his team coming to pay the Tahadas a visit, because apparently, Monet's been ducking Detective Carter's calls. Now, whether it's just Monet ducking Carter's calls that leads him to come here with his team, let's see, because there is a small matter of Salim's body that needs to be discovered from 404. We all had Carter when he said no civilians are to be harmed, so I do wonder whether that plays a part in this conversation, or whether it's Drew potentially snooping on Carter. Either way, however and why he's here, he's definitely going to let the Tahadas know what the rules are, or even put new ones in place. We know he's going to be questioning who exactly she stole the drugs from, but with Carter, you just never know what to expect. He's very unpredictable, dirty as they come, and they've only kind of just scratched the surface in terms of what he's capable of. In part 2, starting in episode 6, I do think we are going to learn what Carter's really about. He's not someone who's messing around. If you don't stick by his rules, he will pay you a visit, and probably teach you a lesson in the process, with one of them potentially being throwing Drew in jail. Although let's see how and why Drew does actually end up in jail, and whether there's kind of a twist. Now another battle with law enforcement which I do expect to see at some point is Felicia Lewis vs Diana. In a couple of scenes which I had pieced together earlier in the week, you can paint the story of how Felicia Lewis will beat Diana up. How and why is yet to be seen, but the major talking point or question we should be asking is, will Diana lose her baby because of Felicia Lewis? That's what I think we need to keep our eyes on, because if she does, it makes sense as to why she's turning into a real savage. So, Diana losing a baby is definitely a storyline to keep in mind. Now, just sticking with law enforcement, they are also going to be bursting into the Russian's restaurant, with Effie there. In the trailer, we hear Nomar telling Effie that she needs to work her magic with the Russians. But, while she's there, this is where I'm expecting to see her get into a bit of a sticky situation. She's in the same checker jacket, so even though some of these teasers are in black and white, I do think this is where she might get picked up by law enforcement. Now, if she does, she is going to find herself in a real dilemma, especially because of what vision she has for her future. But, Let's wait and see what happens in the aftermath. Will Effie escape, or could she find herself wrapped around Carter's thumb, just like the Tahadas? Now, what about Kamal Tate? Is this the episode where he uncovers just how dirty Carter's task force really is? And if he does, is this also where he meets his end? We do have to realise, they do need to give a reason for Rashad Tate to come back into the storyline. And with his return looking like it's going to be at a morgue, this could potentially be the moment or the episode where we say goodbye to one of the good cops power have produced. So Kamal Tate, it might potentially be episode 6 where he finally bites the dust, 
especially if he begins to learn about the true intentions of Carter's task force. Now let's get down to arguably one of the biggest storylines for episode 6, Zion's downfall. He's set to interrupt yet another meeting that Noma has with Wiley Adams. Noma's got a lot of issues that she needs to deal with from a street business to a legit business, which let's not forget is a jet parts company. She needs to find a way to get around this issue with her citizenship to try and help her get these government contracts. But what are the odds that Wiley Adams could get caught in the crossfire? I mean it really would make shit a whole lot worse for Noma and give her a real added incentive to get rid of Zion. So I do expect this drive by to make things a whole lot worse. And I am expecting Kane to retaliate, start asking some questions in the streets. But we are also going to see a meeting between Tariq and Noma. Tariq has a proposal. Yeah, here's Zion's giving you some f***ing trouble. He's said not right now, but we got the drop on his location. Can take care of that for you. Why would you kill him for me? Well, I want to be back in business with you, of course, with some you know, more favorable terms than I have with Zion. It's a favor for a favor, something he learned from Rashad Tate back in season two. But why Tariq wants to help get rid of Zion? Him and Braden want to get back in Nomar's good graces. They don't want to be constantly looking over their shoulders, wondering if Kane or one of Noma's hitmen are coming after them. We also hear Davis warning Tariq, Zion's racking up a lot of enemies. So, he is going to propose he deals with one of Nomar's problems in Zion, in exchange for her then becoming his connect, which, in my opinion, is a ticking time bomb, and both of them know it. Neither of them can trust each other, and Kane will never either. So, even if they get back to doing business, which I am expecting to happen, I do think it's going to be very short-lived. Therese going to try and dismantle her operation, try and bring her down and then take what she has. But that is something I'm sure we will discuss in a few episodes into part 2. Now with regards to Zion, we are going to see Brayden and Tariq in what looks like a very old apartment block where Zion's hiding. How they've managed to find him, I did earlier mention Pinky is someone who normally is good at these things in terms of finding someone. But either way, however Tariq and Brayden have found Zion, they are going to find themselves in a real battle. Let's remember, Kane may have beaten Zion with ease, but he isn't a slouch. Davis did mention he grew up fighting, so he is going to see Tariq and Brayden coming. He is going to get the drop on them, Brayden's going to be flung through a wall, and he is going to have Tariq in a chokehold. However, I do expect Tariq and Brayden to get the better of Zion eventually, after a bit of a struggle, which is where I think we're going to see Tariq take the kill shot. However, I said it before and I will say it again. Just before Tariq normally pulls the trigger in these sorts of situations, there are always a few words that are spoken. Considering Zion also knew Ghost and has kind of been pushing Tariq around, I do want to see what both of them have to say as Tariq gets ready to pull the trigger. So that's just something I'm looking forward to hearing based on Tariq's past encounters and also Zion knowing who Ghost was. But that's a quick preview in regards to where we are heading into episode 6 based on the trailer, images and a couple of teasers. An episode which I think will get us geared up going into the home stretch and kind of just lay the foundation of where we are going to be with some characters. So drop all your thoughts and predictions down below in the comment section and as always thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time.